I just broke my toothpick. I don't even know how I did it. It's okay, my cigarette is going out, obviously. <laughs> well, this is one of those 72s. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, I'm having so much fun right now, you guys. I'm playing music. I'm hanging out with Fiona. That's the name of my vehicle. I lovingly named her after one of my favorite singer-songwriters that kept me from committing suicide in the seventh grade. Her name is Fiona Apple. And I don't give a shit how liberal she is, okay? give a shit that she wrote that stupid ass song devoted to Brett Kavanaugh. I don't care. Was it really uh, written about Brett or was it written about uh, that lion whore? <laughs> I got hit with a horse tranquilizer by the FBI and now I can't recount any detail of an event that I swear up and down happened. I don't know anything about it. I just know that it happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about the bitch's name. Christine Blase. <laughs> Is she related to Henry Ford? I wonder. I should have looked this up before I started talking about the bitch, but. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I usually don't name names, but. That's one of the random caricatures that we do. That's the kind of stuff that we do all the time, but we don't really do it in front of people because I feel like that's actually mean. But it's really not because she's a lying sack of shit, okay? So, fuck her. She makes a mockery of actual victims that come forward. Like, the same time that she came forward with all that shit, it was the same time that Larry Nasser was getting uh, in trouble, finally. So... No, I should tell you right there. They do that for a reason. They, they want people to just think it's all the same. They did the same shit to Louis C.K. That's why. That's why. 